Uh, hello, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can uh, visualize the volumetric model, which you can download from 3D ShapeNets. Below, there's a download link here, and basically, this data is uh, provided as for the data sets for machine learning or deep learning stuff. Uh, it uh, in it has like tons of volumetric, meaning uh, 3D grid uh, data for a variety of models. Uh, so in some cases, you might want to use that in Rhino or Grasshopper. So I will show you how you can visualize it and actually use it in uh, with the Grasshopper. Now, in order to do that, you need you need two things first. First, uh, you need to have a Python environment, C Python environment, which is a bit different from the Python scripting component inside a uh, Grasshopper that's provided as a default component. But you need a C by C based Python uh, uh, interpreter. So I I think the best way you can have that is to download the distribution called Anaconda, which includes a tons of scientific libraries for Python. So let's do that. Just do that. Install, download this installer, and install it could be either 3.6 or 2.7 uh, either way other either one is fine for this example I'm gonna use Python 2.7 and also you would need in order to use C Python and grasshopper you need this plugin called GH C Python and then you'll be able to use a C based libraries like numpy, scipy, matlab, plot or something like that. So let's install that as well. <clears throat> and also you need to download the data sets from the 3D shape nets at, at this uh, link. And after you do that, first you need to load the component called GHC Python and I have also put the downloaded folder here, 3D shape nets, and inside the folder you will have a folder called volumetric data. And inside here, there uh, you can see several cat categories of uh, volumetric data. So just choose anything you want to visualize, like toilet, and inside 30. There's a test and train folder. You can choose either one, maybe train. And let's copy this directly first. Now let's make a panel and paste this uh, directly here. And for the GH Python, let's put make some parameters. First of all, you need a file pass uh, where you would where you're gonna read the files obviously and the load button maybe I can split the file pass to directly directory and the file name so that I just need to change the file name if you want to change the files. So this will be the directly directory and the file name could be, uh, I could just copy any of them, any of the file name and paste it inside the panel. Like this and put it on the file name and you can put the button to the load now for the directly uh, since it's using in the python and 
I have like numbers after the uh, the dash. No, not the dash. I mean slash. I mean the backslash. I want to change this backslash to the <coughs> slash so that it can be used for the path inside the C Python. It's more convenient than backslash. Let's change that like this and also put this uh, additional slash to the last and let's dive into the script by double clicking it uh, let's clear all the scripting scripts and first let's import the scipy io and this one have a function called load mat to load the mat file the mat file is this one it's uh, it's a extension for the matlab uh, file and normally you would not be able to open it inside the 3d software you need to decode it into the readable uh, data so you need to use scipy in order to read this mat file so let's do that you just need to specify the file pass directly and directory and file name okay then there's no errors so let's try to output this first output equals to let, let me assign this inside a mat and let's output the mat let's see what's the output here now you can see a triple array is include in is inside the instance uh, key and it's for the file uh, extension is based on the matlab 5.0 mat file yeah, i don't need those information what i just need is this these uh three axis <coughs> uh, arrays <coughs> triple arrays so i need to somehow <coughs> convert it into uh grasshopper understandable uh, list to use it inside the Rhino and Grasshopper to visualize it. So let's do that. Um, <clears throat> the easy way, I mean, since this GHC Python doesn't have a data tree module or good Grasshopper module, so I would need first to you know uh, need to convert this three axis array three uh, triple array to uh, a single array first so in order to do that first you need to get the instance first as well now you have all the uh, triple array here now from this one you need to convert it into the single array so you can call the function called to list and there you will have a bunch of numbers in the list with the uh, value 0 or 1 Basically, one means it's filled out, the volume is filled out, the zero is empty space. And keep that in mind. Let's have an integer component between this. And then, <coughs> somehow you need to 
reorganize this number into the 3D uh, <coughs> grid. And you can see that the whole number, like the length of this list, is 27,000, meaning it's a it could be calculated as 30 times 30 by 30. So I can assume that the this uh, 3D grid is a size of 30 by 30 by 30. So keep that in mind. Let's make a parameter 30 here, a slider 30 here, and let's make a C sharp since this is the easiest way to make a data tree or maybe I don't need to make a data tree, I just need to move this into the specific position. But let's do that. Let's do like this. Uh, connect it here. Connect it here. Uh, let's name the Y to N as a number and this one to be D as a data. And let's go inside. <coughs> and I would like to make a data tree uh, with the specific path that's pass path that defines where these points are lo located like for each x and y and z so I would want to use the integer as a value for data tree since it's 0 1 Okay, and you will have three for loops, one is until 30 and other ones also until 30. For int tl, oops, this should be t. Or in test equals there. Something like this and make a GH path with the ITS. And add the value to this tree but uh, I need also in order to get the data from the data list and I just realized I need to set this data to list and type to be integer and this n to be integer as well and let's do that. Uh, okay. And I also want to create a variable called count. And every time I add a number inside a tree, iterate the count by one. And the data I want to add to the data tree is the index of count for D list. And at this point, path, the specific path, and uh, I'll put the value tree here, and if you look at the uh, result, it looks like this. Now I have the <coughs> X, Y, Z, like axis, uh, uh, value information for each uh, value. Now let's make a grid point differently. Uh, first, let's start from the basic point and move this by series of 10 step of 10 and count is 30 <coughs> from 0 to 10 
first at the x direction and graph this move this <coughs> to the y direction from the same series and graph this and move this to the z direction right like this and if you look at the data tree oh and finally you want to graph this as well and simplify this and if you look at the data path for this output it's pretty much same as this one just you have created from the imported math data and the number of data is also the same 27,000 and 27,000 so what you can do you can assume that these zero could uh, could be treated as false and one could be treated as true and thus you can use the call pattern to use this as a pattern and just call the point from here from the grid and as a result you see a toilet grid and this is came from the this imported math data and the point itself is a bit uh, sad I mean hard to see the results so let's visualize this with box use the center box and the radius of the box is uh, the step size divided by 2 so let's bring this here divided by 2 and put it on the x y and z and preview oops preview and that's about it i mean it's pretty much easy once you know the trick yeah that's about it so if you want to change the model of the toilet you can just change the name of the math data here like if you choose this one let's copy this and paste it here you should see a different kind of toilet like this from the different data so that's how you can uh, load the math data and visualize it inside a gra uh, using the grasshopper with the rhino okay that's it thank you